Hi, my name is Drew Rostain. I'm with the City of Chandler Water Conservation Office. Have you ever wondered where the water that you dump down the drain goes? Well, we're here at the Ocotillo Water Reclamation Facility to find out more about where the water goes when you dump it down the drain, how it gets cleaned so that we can safely reuse it again. Come on, let's go on a behind the scenes tour and find out more. Hi, I'm Joseph, one of the water reclamation superintendents. And here is where all the untreated water comes into the plant. Ew, but where does all this wastewater come from? Let me show you. So this is where that dirty water comes from. Your sink and your toilet. Mm. So, like my house? But why is this water so important to clean? Well, like what you're sitting on, the things that go down those drains are pretty gross. So we need to clean them up before we can use the water again out in Chandler for other purposes. But how do you clean this wastewater? I guess that's something I'll have to show you too. These are the aeration tanks. This is where all of our good bugs or bacteria break down our pollutants and all the bad stuff in water so that we can use this water again a second time. Here in these tanks, we give everything that the bugs need to survive. We give them air, space, and food so that they can grow happy and continue to break down those pollutants and get bigger and bigger until they form a flock. When they form a flock, they settle down to the bottom of the tanks and then we can remove them. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying that there's bugs in my water? What do you do with all the extra bugs, though, that fall to the bottom? No, Drew. We don't have bugs in our water. We press them into cake, obviously. Let's go take a look. These are the belt presses. The belt presses are where we take all that sludge that dropped to the bottom of the tank, pack it together, and squeeze all the water out of it real tight, forming cake. And no, not a cake you would want to eat. This cake is going to go to the landfill right where it's supposed to be. So how do we know that the water is ready to be reused again? Well, obviously we have to test it, Drew. So after we cleaned all the pollutants out of it with the bugs, and then we let the bugs drop out and press it into cake that nobody wanted to eat, we need to make sure that the water is actually clean enough to use. So we bring it in the lab here and we test it and make sure all those harmful pollutants have been removed and it can be used in other places like golf courses, people's front lawns and irrigation systems, industrial uses, and recharge facilities. Wow, let's go check out one of those recharge facilities right now. Whoa, we're here at Veterans Oasis Park. Have you ever been to this park? Maybe to fish? Oh my gosh. Or to hike? Or to picnic? Let's ask John why we're here. Hey, I'm John. I'm in charge of the city's reclaimed water. I'll bet you didn't know the park had more than one purpose. One of the main purposes for the park is to recharge reclaimed water in recharge basins. Whoa, but how does the water get here? Remember when you were just at the water reclamation facility? Some of that water gets pushed over here into the recharge basins where we recharge it. Whoa, but how does the water get all the way over here? There's some huge pumps at the plant that push the water through miles of pipeline into a structure here at the park that divides it amongst the recharge basins. Oh, that's really cool. Why does it do that? The water is really important to provide wildlife habitat. It also allows us to store water underground for future use when it's hot and dry. Wow, so the water benefits people and animals. But what kind of animals use the pond? There's all kinds of waterfowl, ducks, egrets. There's a lot of squirrels out here, rabbits, coyotes. Even somebody saw a javelina recently. Javelina? My gosh. Well, this has been really cool. It's been really neat seeing how water gets reused here in Chandler. But now that I'm here, I wanna check out some wildlife. 